Resident Evil 4 has several distinct characters that play a big role in the narrative of the game. The main character, Leon, coming to save Ashley from Lowe's Illuminados. Ashley Graham, the president's daughter, running away and finding safety. To Ada Wong's side plot in retrieving the sample from Luis and finding secrets within Los Illuminados. With the remake coming for Resident Evil 4, I definitely do feel like this can be a way for the game to be different than the original. Now, I know the original does have multiple characters with Ada's separate ways campaign and also Ashley being a, a playable side character for certain sections of the game. This could be implemented into the remake with a twist. What if there playthroughs let's call it that or what if there's certain sections are set in scenarios now when i say scenarios i'm throwing up something pretty vague to anyone who hasn't played the game now resident Evil 4 is going to be a brand new experience it's going to be very different so why can't this be a way to pay homage to the original which the game is obviously going to but at the same time be different. Now I do want certain characters to have their own sections, scenarios, whatever you want to call it in the game and this could be through the main story but with that it could always come with a cost. Now when I say that I mean everything could be clustered and janky and that's never fun man and especially when you're developing a game as legendary as Resident Evil 4 that's gonna you know take a lot on the game now what i'm basically trying to get at is make these scenarios very fun and enjoyable but make it distinct now when it comes to ada obviously give her the cool gadgets also capcom shouldn't be scared to give ada obviously her acrobatic skills and make her very deceiving i like that from resident evil 2 and i want to see it in resident evil 4 but also make her character more different emotional make her character more emotional make her human i know she's an acrobatic jumping killing machine but and that's just me man i'm just saying that at the top of my head i'm, I'm just playing around but make her unique man obviously give her some new gadgets some new weapons i mean i don't know give her a rocket launcher too or i don't know I, i'm kind of just throwing out ideas here at this point i think ada was just one of those balanced characters in resident Evil 4 that was just done right but i would love for her to be seen different now ashley's sections are going to be a bit different in my mind for resident Evil 4 for starters i know and i hope so that she's able to not crawl but crouch and find her way around enemies in an alternative route and also, I still do want those mechanics we had from the original where you can throw those lamps, hide under obstacles, or crawl, I'm sorry. And those are things I do want to see. Now, what I want different is more resourceful ways to take down enemies. We've seen in the trailer that she's going to hold the weapon and point it at Leon. I don't like that. I don't want that one bit. I don't think she should hold the uh, gun. I'm sorry. I don't think she should hold the gun because kind of defeats the purpose of her sections if i wanted to play that i might as well play ada sections now i'm not trying to throw any shade at ada sections i do love ada sections for what they are obviously but i think ashley just needs to be that one character that's kind of passive but also can defend herself with multiple items or be resourceful right lay traps or lay mines or something i don't know you can very much come up with a certain amount of ideas here i have a few like i've said what if we have to crawl or be stealthy around the castle and find certain items to make and defend ourselves one character that i do want to put in this video is Luis. Luis has a pretty big role in the game i'm not going to spoil anything but his character arc in Resident Evil 4 is kind of convoluted. He's kind of here, there. It's kind of a miss. And I would love for him to get some on-screen time and playable time in the game. That's something that I wish he could get. I don't know if it's going to come into fruition, and I doubt that. But, oh man, I'd love...
love for him to get his own section in the game where he plays meeting up either with Ada or Leon or aiding him or maybe his backstory of how he came into the village or just in any way an origin story or something you know like some DLC or so, something I don't know I'm just throwing some ideas out there but yeah guys that's gonna have to wrap up today's video I hope you guys definitely did enjoy and without further ado guys I will catch you guys in the next video peace out guys